Hello! So in this video I will do a lot of preparations actually for my big canoe trip of next week. So watch this video if you're interested in that and uh, yeah, let's go! So we just did like the tour planning of the day uh, for next week because on Monday we're going on our first expedition which is a canoe trip which is super exciting, super overwhelming, super intense, we need to do so many things. Okay, but I wanted to show you uh, an experiment. Yay! So I just bought this thermos bottle. Mm. I put boiling water in and we need to prepare our own food and bring our own lunch with us and dinners we do together with the whole group. For lunch, I'm planning on taking with me couscous, so pre-packaged couscous in Ziploc bags with spices and with dried vegetables. So if I have a thermos bottle, I pour hot water in there in the mornings, mm, then I can still use it during lunch. Or even, like what I want to try now, if I pour warm water in it in the evening, let's say on expeditions I pour in the evening, um, 12 hours later, I want to use it, let's say, for breakfast and maybe even lunch. Like, will it still hold up so long? <laughs> I don't know. So it's now 4 and tomorrow I will have breakfast, I think, at like 10 a.m. So I will try to make oatmeal with this boiling water and see if it works. <laughs> so that's going to be the experiment of... Uh, Today. So for the mornings I'm planning on taking oatmeal with me, oats and uh, with chia seeds and with nuts and raisins and some sugar and uh, maybe some dried fruit. I want to try some fruit as well. In the oven it's a whole process. And then for lunch I want to bring dried vegetables with couscous and some spices and maybe be some bread that we can make I'm not really sure yet or maybe some wraps or just a couscous and then some protein bars some nuts with me extra nuts as a snack and then for dinner we cook collectively so all together we cook the meals for the evening um, but we like there are quite a few vegetarian people there are also a few vegans and one person is gluten intolerant so <laughs> For dinner, it's going to be interesting. We may we are taking with us some rice, some potatoes, uh, lentils. Yes, that's mainly it, and then also dried vegetables a lot, and some wraps as well, and some spices and some coconut powder milk. Apparently, that's a thing. Then you only have to boil your uh, boiling water with it, and then you have coconut milk. It's going to be so interesting what we're going to eat, how we are going to like feel, uh, are we hungry, are we getting tired, how much should I bring with me, like it's five days, you need to carry all of your stuff. Also like pans and pots and uh, lavos and tarps and uh, axes and a saw and swimming vests and uh, paddles and the canoeing they are bringing luckily <laughs> but there is a part that we need to uh, carry our canoe over mountain go back get our stuff hike it back again over the mountain good morning so i didn't make oatmeal this morning because i always eat cornflakes uh, but i'm going to try the thermos bottle out to see if it's working. Okay, here we go. I poured so I put a tea bag in there. Let's see. Okay. It's a little bit of a mess here for the expeditions. Hmm. <gasps> you see, wow. No, you don't see. <laughs> okay, let's try. It's like the perfect drinking temperature for tea. Yesterday I poured it in at four and it's now 10 or 11 even already. Um, so that's quite a long time, I think. I think I should keep it for like 12 hours. So pour it in late in the evening and use it in the morning or in the morning and use it in the afternoon, something like that. 
I'm going to figure out all of the stuff that I need. It's quite a lot. I'm already wearing quite a lot as well. And now the second the day <laughs> is going to be my pants. I bought like simple rain pants. I have like a first layer underneath here, my rain and my normal hiking pants. And now I bought like a rain pants, but as you can see, they're too long for me. Um, and I also bought these things, like, I don't know how to call it in English, but I thought if I can cut them, maybe so, or like, I don't know how good it will stick on here, and then I can close it very close, or use like a tie, and then it's also pretty close, because, I don't know, I'm going to cut a piece off, because this, like, if it's raining a lot, it would just go in. So second experiment of the day, let's see how it goes. Okay, first I'm going to look how much I can cut off. Maybe I should get a scissor. But... Also a knife. So let's just do this. Perfect. This. If I do it like this and then fold it. I want to be able to stick it like this. Layer one, <laughs> layer two, layer three. Okay. Oh. I should have done it like here. And probably a little bit bigger. Two pieces. I've never done something like this before. Too impatient for this. Can go like this. Perfect. Untie, just leave it like this. Experiment number two. So the third experiment hey! is going to be my sleeping mat. Kind of. I have an inflatable sleeping mat, but I want to use this one for underneath that the moist and the cold is not coming through that much. We also need knee pads for the first excursion. And I bought some knee pads. I'm going to wear these underneath all of my clothing. Uh, but I do want some extra sort of protection. And if I'm not using it as a knee pad, I can use it as a sitting pad. The thing is quite big. So. <laughs> okay. It's quite big. It I thought if I um, I can cut up a little piece of this two or three times, use the rest as a sleeping mat and this part as a knee pad or as a sleeping pad. Okay, one, um, one, two, three. I need the the third one so I can cut up to it on like this. I'm still protected, also I can sit very easily on this. Perfect! I need to cut here. I can use it like everything. I can also, yeah, just lay on the, in my thing and then use it just like this. 
And the last experiment hey! is about a map case. This is the map of the excursion that we're going to do. Here, 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 and then pedal. And then they pick us up here and camp everywhere along. But the map case needs to be big enough to put it like this around everything. So like hold your jacket and stuff. The compass needs to be on it as well. Oh, I've put on my rain jacket. The old one I got out and this one I put in. And now I'm going to tie it around my body to see how much I need. Not too high, not too low. Like this, I think. And then I can look at it like this. And then I need to hang my compass here. <laughs> thinking, thinking. I'm getting warm. <laughs> Tying it here, cutting it here. I have like the map case and then I tied it around here so I can do like me like this and also there. Those were the experiments <laughs> of the day. Good morning! So today uh, we are going to try all of the food for the whole group. So we're going on an expedition with 10 people in total and one teacher and the dinners we need to prepare all together and we made agreements in the group that today me and two other girls are going to dry all of the food for dinner and tomorrow package everything in packages and then on Saturday we meet up to split the meals again and everyone can carry their like a part of the meals um, so it's going to take a lot of time right now a lot of cutting, a lot of cooking, a lot of drying I will make some shots along the way <laughs> to see how it goes. It will be the first time that I'm going to dry anything. Uh, a few people have tried it yesterday. It looked interesting, so it takes so long. So let's see how it goes. And uh, yeah, maybe from now on, I will dry my food. <laughs> Chicken, we got carrots here, and we got mushrooms, broccoli, mushrooms, cauliflower, cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots, everything. I got a foam mat, I've got an inflatable mat, and this is my sleeping bag. It's minus five degrees comfort temperature. I'm going to try it out right now. So all of the vegetables for the dinners in the evenings are finished, kind of. Uh, so now I still need to do my own vegetables and my own fruit. So I want to make apples, bananas for in the mornings and also vegetables for lunch. It takes up so much space. So here are the apples that are like three and a half apples or something. And I ate quite a bit. Now banana time on this tray. The bananas and some apples. To the oven. So I put them in the oven. Here are the apples and the bananas, and it's on this mode and like 60 degrees. So now it goes in for like uh, oh, and we close it like this so some air can get out and then they can dry. Apparently, let's check on my bananas and apples. 
Okay, they have been in here for quite a while. Hmm. Still a little bit, a little bit in here. A little bit longer, I think. Pretty good. So I'm leaving on Monday, so that's almost, it's Saturday today. And on Sunday all of the shops are closed. So I want to pack all of my stuff mostly today. I still need to get a few supplies, like some food and um, second layer for my body. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm trying to look at my backpack. And we need to pack everything waterproof because it can be possible that our luggage falls in the water so we need to put garbage bags inside of our uh, backpack and then everything also in dry sack so. okay so now i got my sleeping bag in a plastic bag in the garbage bag in my backpack and i have my sleeping mat here i put it also in a bag and then it goes in here the expedition and I'm going to show you what I'm going to bring and how I'm packing and all of that stuff. Ah! 